So now we're in the main automation area which we've accessed through Guardian and by clicking on the automation tab we've added some markets by going to the quick picks list and saying UK markets add and it's added all of the UK markets for today. Uh, from here we can explore some of the features of the automation and the the stuff that's important that you need to understand first is first of all you need to select a market that's that's sort of fairly obvious to apply automation you need to select a market so we'll highlight the first market that is available here and then what we'll do is go across to create a new rules file for a selected market if you have been given a file you can import a rules file or if you have a file that you want to share you can export that file but if you're starting completely from fresh you need to create a new rules file so that's what we'll do if we click on that then you see a new dialog box appear um, and you can resize that if you want to up to you but what this will do is allow you to apply a rule to this market so we would call this rule scalp this market and this is the first line on this rule and the rule type will be place a back bet and then we can start applying characteristics to this back bet so we can decide if we want to trigger this based upon a fixed time relative to the start time or relative to the end play time so on this occasion rather than nominating a fixed time I'm going to say start this rule five minutes before the start of the race so we go in there modify this to five you can see hours minutes and seconds so five minutes before start time will start and this rule will stop activating let's say 10 seconds before post time in this particular horse race I'm going to say allow this rule to trigger a hundred times every five seconds so the process here is at five minutes it will trigger the rule for the first time it will wait five seconds and then it will try and trigger the rule again and then we have to decide what this applies to so on this occasion we're going to say that this applies to what do we name the horse or the selection in this race or by the row index by row index what we mean is the order in which it appears in the market so it'd be the first selection in the market or the second or the third and so on so if we say row order number one or we could say by position of favorite so when we've decided what we actually want to do then that's the first part of this particular rule so on its own this rule uh, doesn't seem very exciting it's basically saying place a back bet a uh, hundred times it went fire a hundred times because there's only five minutes um, and do that every five seconds that uh, doesn't sound particularly interesting good way to drain your bank um, so you have to apply parameters and we've created the general um, overview of what this bet does you can see here we can place a back bet place a lay bet back all selections lay all close trade green or we can do various things but now we're going to apply parameters to this bet so if I go in here now and click on parameters you can see what parameters we have available so we can place the bet at a fixed price best market price second best custom ticks above or below the current price so if I say we're placing a back bet I'm gonna say we place a back bet one tick um, above the best market price and we're gonna use a stake of 10 pound but what we're also going to do here is apply global settings so the global settings will produce the trading characteristic of this particular bet so if I go in here I can say um, offset bet um, let's have a look yeah we'll just do a standard offset bet on this occasion and we're going to offset it by one tick we're going to do a fill or kill order uh, for 20 seconds in one batch so now we have place a back bet um, within these parameters at this time starting and stopping at certain times one tick above the current price with a stake of 10 pound offset it and um, use fill or kill so we've now completed the second part of the automation process so we've now applied the general function of this automation parameters applying to it and we can now also apply conditions and when you apply conditions you can do the following so if I click on new you can see a list of conditions you can apply to this particular bed so you can see here there's drop down box appears saying condition type and you can see here so if we say in play condition the market is not in play because we don't want this bet to continue if the market goes in play for some strange and bizarre reason it shouldn't do 10 seconds before the off but you never know so we'll apply the rule the market is not in play 
um, but you can also add in additional conditions as well here. So we could say um, the number of bets uh, in the market is equal to zero. So this is basically saying if we look back at this original rule, let's place a back bet um, offset by one, um, but don't place a new bet unless the number of um, selections is equal to zero. So this is basically saying if a bet's in the market and it hasn't filled, then don't place another one. But you can see there are other commands in here as well. So you can see here, you could say if the trade profit is above a certain value, in other words, if you're in profit, close the trade, and if you're not, then don't close the trade or whatever. And you can see there are a number of different conditions that can be applied here. So for example, if you're placing a bet on a horse race at certain odds that you want to capture, if the market reaches those odds, then you may want to add in the number of selection condition because if there's a rule for and a horse is removed from the race you may want to reappraise the price at which you want to place the bet in the market. But there you go, you can see we've set the general the specific parameters and conditions applied to this bet and then we can apply. Uh, in fact I should just get rid of that last one. There we go. So um, that condition is is set and um, we may actually want to rename this scalping to make more sense. So you can see here the first rule we've applied to this market is a rule called scalping. So this will scalp the market five minutes out until 10 seconds out. It will offset by one tick and apply these conditions to it. So at the end of that we will have a profit or loss on this particular market. So let's add another line to this rule and this line will be green up baby or red up because not necessarily will be at a profit in this one. So what we'll say here is green all selections. Um, relative to the start time what we'll do is we will green up. We previously said that the other one would stop at 10 seconds so why don't we set this for 9 seconds out. Sorry we've just switched to a new market. That's Guardian working its magic in the background. And we will um, go three seconds after the start time and we will do this three times every three seconds so we start at nine seconds finishes at three seconds afterwards and it will green up three times so the parameters here no parameters required conditions um, we may want to add in a safety catch here by saying in play condition the market is not in play and basically what we've created here is we've created two rules in this set of automation you can create as many as you like you can see here we can add additional rules take away other rules copy rules or raise them up or down the list because this one will execute first this one will execute second um, and now we need to um, save this rule so I'm going to call this Peter's scalping automation and we have now created a file that contains these rules which we can apply to a market so um, if I now close that, if I want to apply this to any particular market, then all that I need to do is go over here and write in or, or choose the drop-down menu and do Peter Scalping Automation. And that's ready to run on the next market. If you want to, you can apply the rules to all markets. Um, very simple to do. Uh, or you can apply them to selected markets. So if we go into Guardian and apply rules to all markets we can select on here which uh, rule we want to apply and apply it to all or we can just remove them all um, or we can basically uh, select any chunk of markets remove rules from those selected markets or indeed pick out and apply rules to selected markets um, and the reason for this is because you may want to write one rule or one set of automation for one thing and one for another and you may want to do something for a tennis match, football, horse racing, snooker, any number of things but you'd obviously apply different levels of automation to different markets. Um, but once this is set up basically this can run automatically now. If we go back into the top level you can see here Guardian switched at 280 seconds um, and basically what's happening here is the Guardian is cycling through each of these markets it will switch to the next market at 280 seconds and then because we've tagged the market with this particular automation rule it will then execute on that particular market and that is all set up and ready to go.